you have been grinding lead code for months and you still cannot get past the interviews then here's the truth for you the way ai startups hire is completely different i recently interviewed at a few ai startups and i'll share my experience about what really matters there and spoiler alert it's not how many questions you have solved it's more about how do you think about scale how do you think about reliability what kind of projects you have built and in this video i'll share with you what are the projects that you can build so that you can get shortlisted by these ai startups that pay way more than any fan company ever can and i'll share with you what are some things what are the key aspects they look for in these projects and few examples at the end of the video that you can go ahead and start applying right now to get shortlisted by these ai startups in this video i'll also share with you a secret tool that you can use to deploy your app will actually be a game changer and a key point that startups look for when they are hiring people now luckily for me i have an experience at working at companies like twitter google and tweet and these companies gave me a front row seat into what production ready apps actually mean it's about scalability it's about reliability it's about how those apps are deployed if one server goes down how is the other server going to handle that but if you don't have this big tech experience you can still go ahead and add all of that into your personal projects all of that is possible you need to build your portfolio in such a way that these ai startups can go ahead and look at that portfolio and feel like Okay this is someone who does know about their system design who does think about all of the aspects and isn't just simply a college student who is trying to create toy app so in this video I'll share with you exactly what those three key aspects are and how you can start applying that right so the number one thing that startups really care about is scalability and reliability how will your system behave how will your project behave when the number of users increases is there ci cd automation pipeline setup proper testing setup is there proper deploy and cloud deployment and version system setup and if all of this sounds like gibberish and something that you haven't used that means your apps are literally just toy apps and not something that a startup will really look for or will actually get shortlisted by these companies because they're not really looking for toy app and if you want to get started with a platform then there's a awesome platform called Sevala which is exactly used for deployment of your app. you connect your github repo and every push can automatically trigger a new version of the app unlimited parallel builds you get object storage you get manage database and you have this global reach of all running on kubernetes across 25 regions and because sevala integrates cloud fares 260 plus edge network traffic even your static content will load instantly and this is something that recruiters or people when you're generally interviewing at these ai startups founders will be looking at your projects and this is something that they'll really look for when they click on your project does it take a long while to load or does it load instantly because if it does that means you do think about scalability reliability and you do think about a one key aspect of system design which is throughput and latency how quickly does your system respond so go ahead and check out sevala the pricing is very clear it's just based on usage so when you start you get 50 dollars free in credit just check out the link in the description and you can go ahead and try that out right now this is the kind of startup that really shows startups how you think about design how do you think about scalability how do you think about reliability so that's the number one point which is scalability and reliability okay the number two thing that startups really look for is solving real business problems so is does your app really solve a problem that needs to be solved and it does doesn't need to be something huge it can just be something that you have faced personally in your real life and you have tried to solve that using your project so this is the number two thing solving real business problems do your does your app really have real users if you're in college you can get students to try you can go ahead and get your classmates to try that app out so let's say you think like there is something that you spend a lot of time doing just try to think of a way that you can automate that using ai or automation they don't have to be very complex ideas but anything that solves a real life business problem is way better than something that nobody really uses so that was number 2 that you need to have solve a real business problem this could be anything as simple from your daily life or this could be something that you have solved for your friend or this is something that you have automated with ai the number 3 thing is that you need to have clean code testing and documentation set up now this is very very important when a recruiter or a founder goes ahead and opens your github portfolio do you have a proper readme setup do you have proper documentation setup do you tell people how they should deploy your app how they should run it because guess what these startups when they pay you this huge amounts of 70 to 80 lakhs when they pay you more than these fang engineers then they really look for key aspects and they look for what more have you done now i recently interviewed at a startup and they did not even ask me a single lead code problem everything was based 
around the projects and i have solved projects and i have done projects that i have done at twitter google and tweet i was able to talk about that but when you don't have the kind of big tech experience you need to show that through your projects and these things is very important so taking the time out to write a draft a proper documentation you can go ahead and use ai for that now things are really really easy with ai you can go ahead and do that do you have proper error logging setup do you have proper testing setup all of this can be go ahead and tried out by ai tools there is one ai tool called test sprite which will go ahead and automate all of your unit test testing or you can just go ahead and white code it right so you can go ahead and use a chat gpt codex you can go ahead and use replit agent 3 all of these tools will help you in set of the testing and documentation so this is the three things that you have to make sure and now let's move on to the five examples that i would say that you can go ahead and start white coding or building right now and you can add on to your project so the five ai projects that you can build right now is number one you can build an ai powered resume analyzer this is something that will help you as well this takes care of the three things you can handle the deployment using sevala you can handle the you it solves a real business problem because it is your personal use case as well and number three will be that you need to set up the clean code documentation and test number two is smart customer support bot now again this is something which many you will see that most all most of the companies have a customer support setup so again you will be solving a real business problem and if you take care of the deployment and the clean code and documentation you are good to go number 3 that you can do is you can do a personal finance dashboard now even for me finance is something that i really don't understand at all and my dad takes care of it but this is something that you can go ahead and do so you can use llm to summarize your monthly expenses i know that this will be very helpful for me so if any of you go ahead and build that please write it in the comments i would love to try that out myself as well and as you can see from the examples they aren't really it's not like you'll be the first one to be a building these project ideas but the way you handle the deployment the way you set up the clean code testing documentation will all make a difference and even if the many people have built the same project and idea yours will be different because you think like an engineer the number 4 is meeting summarizer i know something this is this is if you have ever worked in tech you will realize that this is something that you really really need which is meeting summarizer there are so many meetings all the day you really need some a tool to go ahead and summarize all of these meetings for you so again you will be solving a real world business problem and if you are an engineer if you are working currently you can go ahead and start using that as well number 5 is ai powered code reviewer now with all of the code that chat gpt and the vibe coding tools are turn, churning out we need a code reviewer now it's becoming very very tough for humans to be able to handle all of this code so if we are go, go, going ahead and building that this will be a great business problem that you are solving the way to stand out in 2025 and 2026 is not through lead code or data structures algorithm it's through building projects that matters taking care of deployment taking care of production taking care of reliability security think like in th- having an engineer mindset is what is going to set you apart and it believe me if you are able to implement all of these things literally there are many ai startups which are want to hire you and they will not ask you a single lead code question trust me more of that is coming soon in the further videos because i have done a lot of that right now and i want to share my experience with you and before you leave make sure you like subscribe to this channel and comment on something if you didn't understand and you can go ahead and try out sevala again in the link is in the description below and in the pinned comment as well and i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye